Every human being acknowledges the inevitability of death. With every breath, we move a step closer to the moment of departure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Holy Quran of this undeniable truth. Allah says, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul mawt. Every soul shall taste death. But the question is, what does death taste like? What do we experience in those final moments? The Holy Quran describes the process of dying in Surah number 50, verse 19. Allah says, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٍ Allah says, and the intoxication of death will bring the truth. That is what you were trying to avoid. The Holy Quran describes death as a state of intoxication and sensory impairment. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, in Nahjul Balagha meticulously describes the process of death. The Imam السلام, he says, indescribable is what befalls them. Once the pangs of death and the remorse of lost opportunity convene upon them. As a consequence, their extremities go flaccid and their color goes pale. Then death penetrates a little more. Such a person is barred from the faculty of speech. He lies before his family, seeing with his eyes, hearing with his ears. With a mind still sound, he wonders, what did I do with my life? How did I waste my years? The Imam السلام, continues and he says, Death continues to increase its hold on his body until it mingles with his hearing. So he is left before his family, neither able to speak with his tongue nor hear with his ears. He shifts his eyes looking at their faces. He sees the movements of their lips, but he does not hear the intent of their speech. Then death permeates him more. His sight is taken as his hearing had been taken. His spirit leaves his body and he becomes but a corpse before his family. Now they have fled from his side in terror and distanced themselves from him. He cannot help him who mourns for him, nor can he answer him who calls for him. Then they carry him to a ditch in the ground and relinquish him therein to his deeds and cease to visit him. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all prepare for the moment of departure. Let us all invest in the final abode, a world in which neither wealth nor family will be of any avail to us except the good deeds that we bring forward.